our page is coming along nicely and now to make a few changes i'm not a huge fan of seeing these edit and delete links that are not very professional looking so i want to actually make these icons and make them nice and clickable so uh, bootstrap thankfully comes with this and if i just go to bootstrap let's see and go to getbootstrap.com and come to, let me say, I believe it's components. Yes, so come to components and here you'll see a full set of icons that because we're using Bootstrap, we have full access to, which is really nice. So let's see what we want. We have a edit and delete. And so I, I already know the edit one I want. It's up here, the, uh, this little icon, the pencil. That's a pretty standard one. Now for delete, let's see, whoa, there we go, trash can. Okay, so let me copy and paste these over into a file just so I don't have to keep referencing this page. Okay, now the way these work is they are icons, but they're just CSS classes. So that makes it really nice. Let me open up the file we want this in, which is gonna be in our post partial. And there's a few ways we could do this. I'm going to just get rid of the text here. So we're essentially gonna be passing a blank text item. Uh, it's You do have to have something. You can't pass this because it does need an argument of what to put there. And then right after the ID, let's pass a class. And the class is going to be the pencil, glyph, glyphicon, and then a uh, glyphicon pencil. And let me grab this and paste it for here, right after the ID here. Okay, and then I just need to grab, okay, it is just trash. Okay, this should work. If I come back and come back to the site, hit refresh. Okay, I didn't like that. Uh, expecting this, are you sure? Identifier, okay. Let's see, what didn't it like? I think it's just the order that I put it in. Oh, oh comma, sorry. Needs a comma, and there you go. Okay, so we have our nice little icons here. Now these are good, still not perfect. Let me, uh, let me tell you what I don't like. I don't like, one, the hover effect. I'm not a huge fan of the underline under the pencil and the trash. I don't think that's very intuitive. It may be fine for links that have a uh, text but with icons i think i'd rather just change the color so what i'm going to do is let's create a new class so i'm going to call it index icons and if i i'm going to copy this and open up if you remember we have a post css file and we can just paste this in and here we go. So we can do a couple things. One, we want to take the underline off and then we also want, hold on one second, let me see what else. I also, I think it's kind of small, especially if you're looking at it on a tablet or something, it may be kind of hard to click. So let's make it bigger. So let's go with a font size of 1.5 m which is essentially just and when you use m if you're not familiar with css it's just saying give me something that is 150 percent the size of whatever it is uh standardly okay so if i hit refresh you can see this is nice and big so this looks good okay now what i want to do is change the hover effect and to do that with CSS, I can just create it again and then pass in hover and I will update these two things. I believe it's font decoration and pass in none and then color pass in black because I want it when they hover over, I do want them to have some kind of feedback. So hit refresh. Okay. And okay, it change, it's changing it to black, but it is still showing the underline. Oh, okay, should be text decoration, I'm pretty sure. Come back, hit refresh. 
There we go. Okay, perfect. So this looks way better. This is a lot more professional looking already. So now, and just to verify they're all working, looks like those are all good. And I'm going to run our tests just to make sure everything's working. We don't need to really create tests for this kind of thing. I'm not a big fan of view tests. I'm a much bigger fan of integration end-to-end -end tests because they're really what tell you what your application's doing. Okay, all of them worked. So let's save this. And you can see we have a couple of deprecation warnings here. So it's saying that the extra CSS in the SCSS file is unnecessary. So, uh, but these are both coming from Gritter, it says. So I'm not going to worry about that because I don't really feel like overwriting what they have just for a deprecation warning. Okay, so that, and I'll say added icons and custom class to post index page. Perfect. Okay, so this is all good. I really like the way all of this is coming along. Let's open up our readme. Yeah, close out, close out, and close out. Open up the readme. Okay, I like this. We're done with all of these. The approval workflow is, uh, it's not quite done yet um, because you know that we have our, uh, we have the ability to lock users out, um, but there's still a few things we need to do. So I don't want to mark it as done. Still need to implement the SMS functionality need to email a summary to managers for approval and need to document if employee did not log over time. Uh, icons, and we ended up not doing Font Awesome. I just did uh, Glyphicons, so Glyphicons, and this is now done. And we refactored this. Okay, so we're looking really good. The application is just about ready. I the, the couple things I want to hold off on, approval workflow and this, because these two items are going to need a different model. And so I'm going to add a to-do list here, and I'm going to call it audit log, because that's essentially what it is going to be. It's going to be an audit log uh, that makes this possible, because the whole point of the app is it needs we need to be have full documentation on if a employee did not log over time or if they did. So even though post is essentially the core functionality because that implements the workflow and everything like that, it, uh, it doesn't actually give the full goal. The key requirement, remember, is that a company needs documentation that salaried employees did or did not get overtime each week. So we need to have a custom log that essentially makes uh, says if that happened or not. So I'm going to wait on that. Uh, and that's uh, on the approval workflow. Uh, I'm still going to uh, where it's done for the most part, but there's a few advanced features that we'll implement. So in the next section, I think we're ready to tackle SMS sending. I think that's uh, I think that's going to be the best move. So I will see you in the next section.